All right, it's uh, Chris here today from Huckleman's Equipment. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be demonstrating how to take your front snowboard on and off. So whether it's uh, the spring of the year or the fall of the year, this will be the video for you, uh, going step by step uh, of how to do it so that you uh, feel confident doing it out at your own place. Uh, always highly recommend it to do it in a nice warm shop, but if it's not, it's unavailable, a nice level area is the best thing you can do. That's what you're aiming for. So uh, we're going to jump right to it. I'm going to have uh, Dave uh, Pig in there, the guy that was available in the back to do this. Um, He's gonna go step by step and show you how it's done. So step one is uh, turn off your tractor, release all the pressures, use, move the joystick left, right, up and down uh, until you feel confident that all the hydraulic pressure is off. Next step is to move to the front of the blower. Disconnect the PTO. Disconnect the PTO here. It's the one lever system. Make sure your leg is down. Make sure your leg is down so that nice, uh, whenever you do take the blower off, it is on its stand. Pull your bucking pins. Pull two locking pins. There's one on the left side, one on the right side. They are gold in color, easy to find. So after you've done all that work out front, you're gonna move around to the side to where the hydraulic fittings are. There is four to find. They are flat face couplers, so uh, you don't have to worry about any oil coming back at you. And don't worry, our professional is gonna make it look quick and easy. So there's two, or there's four hydraulic lines. Two are gonna be for your hydraulic rotate and two are gonna be for your up and down on the on the blower itself. So as you can see, they are nicely fitted in here into the holders. Uh, there is a couple there that every BX uh, should be fitted with whenever it has a front snowblower. So you're just gonna feed the lines back out or in, depending on the time of year. So nice and simple and easy. Again, uh, nice to have a nice uh, place to put this, uh, whether it's wrapped up around, tucked in. Uh, you just don't want them in the dirt because, uh, well, any hydraulic fittings with dirt in it makes it that much harder. So he's gonna start the tractor up again. So he's uh, started the tractor, lowered the hitch again so that it's disconnected from the actual blower itself. So. Now I'm going to pull the blower out of the way. Pull as far as you feel comfortable, It'll give you more room to work around that front hitch. So you've had the machine running, so you're going to want to release the pressures again. Um, again, just move your joystick up, down, side to side, um, and then move around to the front of your tractor. There's an R clip in the big pin. Uh, you're going to pull the R clip out and then pull the pin out itself. Uh, you're going to find that it is a little bit tight. You're just going to have to uh, kind of feed it out. Sometimes it will come out fairly easy. Next step is to move around to the side of your tractor. Again, there is uh, two hydraulic fittings left to pull off, and that is for your up and down on the quick hitch itself. So now you're going to go underneath the tractor. Um, again, nice and simple whenever it's brand new like this. Uh, disconnects from either end. Uh, again, you're going to do it from the back. It's going to be like a, a water hose. So. The collar that slides. Yeah, the collar that slides up and down on it. This end just slides on. Yeah, so that end just slides on. That goes to the towards the, the blower, blower end itself. Pull the arc clip. Remove your pin again, and that is on your lift cylinder itself. And now you're going to lift it up and off. And again, wrap up your hydraulic fittings so that they're out of the out of the way and out of the dirt or somewhere you're going to have them set for the year. And you are now completely disconnected your snowblower from your tractor. Be mindful to still see that there is some left over that is bolted to the side of the tractor. You'll see some black uh, parts and the gold hose holders on the side. So now we're going to start uh, start putting the blower back on. So again, if this was uh, this time of year in the fall, uh, what you're going to be doing. Pins out. Again, pull your, pull your big pin out that you put in in the fall and same with the one on the hydraulic fitting, or, or, sorry, on the hydraulic cylinder. And you'll see these hooks over these ears here. So you got the two hooks there. You want to line them up and lift up. And we'll, on is it's going to be a little bit of a lift and a little bit of a little bit to do but uh, yeah so hook onto the black part reconnect your cylinder there for your lift and 
And now you're going to take the long pin to put it through so everything stays stationary while you're working on it. This pin lines up here in this groove. So you'll see at the front there, there is a pinhole groove there. there with a pinhole. You want to make, line that all up and put your R clip in. in nice and easy to see, nice and simple. So now you're going to be wanting to run your hoses through the holders on the side. Again, uh, not hard to do, just want to make sure you'll feed them in. And, just go through these two holders. And uh, the thing to know here on the holders is uh, the lift cylinder one goes through the rear holder, whereas the rotate will go in the front one. And you release the pressure in, obviously, on your again, controls. Again, you've started the tractor to bring it in, so you want to make sure all the pressures are off. And these are color coded. Okay, so after you have your two hydraulic lines hooked up, uh, color coded, uh, you want to make sure that you put your PTO on now. So again, a little bit tricky. Uh, you're going to be lying, lying on the ground to do this. Slide the front one on first, and then the rear one on. Pull the collar back, line up. So again, collar on, line it all up, and click it on. Now you're going to fire your retractor, drive it towards your blower to hook it up. So you always want to make sure you lift up your stand on the side there um, so you're not dragging it in the snow for the rest of the winter. Okay. Last but not least is you're going to hook up your two hydraulic lines. Uh, so again, you're going to put it through the holder. And again, because you've started up the tractor, you're going to want to release your hydraulic pressures on it. So again, you're going to move your um, hydraulic left, right, up and down so until all the pressure is off. And again, everything is color coded on the side, so um, blue with blue, red with red, and so forth. You are now complete. Everything is hooked up. So by everything complete, I was wrong. <laughs> All right, so that brings to the end of uh, removing and putting back on your snowblower. Uh, two things to point out is uh, you could have electric deflector installed in here, especially if you have a cab like this. Um, again, if, that, if you're hooking it up or disconnecting it, it's just gonna be pulling two wires apart and then capping it. One end will be here and one end will still be on the unit itself. Pretty simplistic at that end. And then whenever you move your PTO forward, um, you're gonna hear a little bit of a slap sometimes whenever it hasn't completely meshed. So a little bit extra of a louder bang for less uh, for a good description on that but it is something completely normal to, until it meshes up if you keep hearing a bang something is obviously wrong but uh, uh, one at the beginning is perfectly normal so so that brings to the end uh, hopefully you enjoyed it learn something if it's your first time taking off or putting on your blower um, ho hopefully you're able to to accomplish your goal um, maybe it's the hundredth time maybe you're able to pick up a little bit of a trick to do it a little bit quicker or and easier so if you enjoyed today's video please like and subscribe if you have any comments please and down below thank you